Hi guys, it's me Swastik and today I'm gonna teach you how to make your own Discord bot using Python. If you already have Python installed, you can go to this timestamp. If you don't have Python installed, you can continue watching. To download Python, you need to go to your web browser and search for python.org. All the links will be in the description below. Click on downloads and if you have a 32-bit version, you can click here and this will download the 32-bit version of Python for you. If you have a 64-bit version, scroll down Look for Python, the latest release. For me, it's Python 3.8.3. .3. Click on the latest release. Then scroll down uh, till files. Here you need to click on the Windows 86 64 executable installer. And this should download the 64 bit version for you. Just click on save file and wait till this downloads. Once it's done downloading, you can click on the executable file. And this should open up the Python setup for you. Make sure it says Python 64 bit and if it's uh, if it's a 64 bit machine click on uh, make sure that you add python to path because we'll be using python in our command prompt so make sure that it's added then click on install now this should download python for you install python for you and also allow access um, yes just wait till it downloads installs okay so now it's done and this has set up was successful you can close this and to, te uh, to check that it's uh, done you can go back here and click here and click on a command prompt open your command prompt and type python then uh, version now this i already had an older version here i need to uninstall this but this should show 3.8.3 .3 for you and now we can continue i'll be using sublime text as my code editor you could use uh, visual studio code you could use pycharm so if you want to download sublime text you could go here and uh, go to sublimetext.com and click on downloads and download the version that you want uh, 64 bit or uh, 32 bit from sublimetext.com to make your discord bot uh, go to discord.com and under developers uh, go to developer portal and i already have some uh, bots made to make a new bot go to new application and name your bot so i'll be naming it tutorial bot you can name it anything you want and this can be changed later as well so once this is done um, go to bot and go to add bot and just uh, agree and once it's done uh, go to OAuth2 so this is where we'll be adding our bot to our server and select a uh, bot as our scope and just give it admin permissions uh, because uh, you could choose something specifically I'll be just giving it admin permissions so this is the link uh, just copy the link open it into a new uh, tab and add it to your server so i'll be just doing this and i'll just adding it to the coding community if you want to join this server the link will be in the description below so let's just continue and i'll have to do this i'll be back when this is done so i just completed the capture code and it's authorized now so this will be in our this will be added to our server if i check here as you can see tutorial bot has been added to our server so now let's start coding so the first thing that we need to do is import a discord install discord so to do that uh, go to command prompt and type pip install discord and just wait for it to install As you can see it says successfully install discord so once it's done you can close this now make a folder i already made one uh, called tutorial bot and i'll just uh, delete the bot.py file that i already have here uh, you're supposed to make a file and name it bot.py i'll just show it to you again so i'll just close it open your uh, text editor i'll be using uh, sublime text and um, just close that no don't save changes so make a uh, right click new file and save it as bot.py uh, so bot.py and now you can start coding so we need to import discord and we need to not discover discord and we need to import from discord dot ext import commands this is uh, what you need to do to, in, uh, to import the modules um, then you need to have a client variable 
and it's gonna be commands dot bot and here is gonna be the command prefix so um, this is gonna be I'll be using an angular bracket for this you can use anything a, a, a period a forward slash so I'll be using this um, so whenever we have an event or a command we have to use decorators so decorators are just an add the rate symbol and then client uh, dot event so the first event that we'll have is the on ready event so um, it's an asynchronous event so async def on ready uh, the r should be small on ready parentheses and the colon and this will automatically uh, give you a tab but make sure that there is uh, four spaces uh, because indentation is very important in python so we'll print the bot is ready bot is ready and let's also have a command so add the rate client dot command the command needs to have uh, a param uh, parentheses here uh, because there could be parameters that could be passed in like um, aliases and other stuff so if you want me to make a more in-depth tutorial about more commands events our like goal for this video is 15 likes so whenever the video hits 15 likes i'll make a new uh, video um, so the async def so whenever we want a command that for example hello right so whenever we want something like this we will write the name here so hello and parentheses and need to pass in whenever it's a command pass in ctx and um, colon and indentation as well now what we want to do is whenever we say hello like this we want the bot to reply so to reply we'll just write await ctx dot send so we'll be sending hi back okay so whenever we say hello uh, the bot will send hi back so let's just see if it works and uh, the final thing we have to do is run the bot so to run the bot we need to use this token now the token can be found here um, right here under your bot application uh, the token so what happens is this token is used to communicate between the code and the application so this is supposed to be secret make sure you don't give it to someone uh, because um, they could control your bot using this token and if you leak your bot uh, leak your token by mistake just click regenerate this will make new uh, this will make a new token for you so I'll just show it to you because um, I have to show it to you I'm just gonna copy it I'll regenerate it later so I'm just gonna copy this and paste it here uh, make sure that it's in uh, the inverted commas and now you can save this wait I don't have uh, import discord that's not there for some reason so let's um, run this now to run this open your command prompt um, and uh, navigate to the folder so like uh, I my folder is in desktop in tutorial bot so to run the file just write bot.py and they should run the file for you and if if it doesn't run the file for you write python space bot.py or whatever the name of the file is let's see if it says bot is ready if there are no errors then that means it is successful so as you can see the bot is ready now if i go back and uh, go to bot testing as you can see um, our bot is back here and it's online so and you can see it's new so as you can see it's online it was offline before let's see if our bot actually works so if i write hello they should respond with hi there you go our bot works and um, i hope you enjoyed this tutorial um, if you liked the tutorial hit the like button and subscribe um, like i said the like goal for this uh, video is uh, 15 likes and i'll make the part 2 uh, where i'll explain more in depth uh, about commands so yeah hit the like button and subscribe and i'll meet you in the next video bye